Oh. Hello to you, too. Oh. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> I had to reshuffle the metro section because we had a breaking story. Oh, my fiancé, the news executive. Oh. You like having more responsibility at the paper. Glad you noticed. <laughs> you know something? We're about to make the banner a must-read newspaper. You are? Uh-huh. With that... Drew's a hero story that Asa once run? You know what? I tried to get a confirmation on that whole miracle delivery, and our hero wouldn't call me back. Darn. So what are you up to? No, it's what we're up to. Oh. What we are up to. Let me tell you. Somebody, and it wasn't Bo, had ample opportunity and plenty of motive to kill Georgie Phillips. And it's somebody that we all want to see go down in flames. I'll give you three guesses who it is. Does this mean Todd confessed to the murder and you're running the sun? Would you just keep your voice down? Todd's right across the hall layout. And you are still so determined to pin this on Todd. Just look at the facts, ma'am. What about the fact that Bo confessed? Well, maybe that's just a little plan to flush out the real killer. Max, you're reaching here. No, Todd's the one that's reaching. Trying to come up with a case against Bo. He's desperate. Oh. I don't know about desperate. Okay, well then how about uh, relentless? How's that sound? You know what this reminds me of the old uh, Statue of Liberty playing football. You get everybody looking one way while you're getting rid of the ball behind your back. That's what Todd's doing. Todd is getting everybody to look at Bo. So they're not looking at him. Um, he locked it when he found me with his credit card bill. You didn't put it back where I found it? No, because I asked him what he was doing out at the gas and sit near the lodge the night that Georgie Phillips was murdered. You asked? Mm-hmm. And I got an answer. He said he couldn't sleep, so he went for a drive. And he said he didn't even know where Ace's lodge was. Oh, man, no. Oh, oh. He, he, he's guilty. No way he would have bothered answering that question otherwise. Not, not, not that, no. No, no, no. He just he blew it off like it was no big deal. It wasn't even important. Look, it's exactly what I said. Statue of Liberty play. I also asked him how he just happened to know exactly where to find the bat that killed Georgie. And what did he say? He said I was turning against... A dynamic duo. Hey, Todd, how's tricks? You ought to know, Halden. I heard your wife left again. didn't surprise me as much as the place. It's very peaceful. No interruptions, no phones. I feel quite close to God here. I suppose the dead could say the same. I didn't know she was a parishioner of yours. She wasn't. Then how did she get here? The how I can answer. It's the why that puzzles me, and I thought maybe you could help. I barely knew Georgie Phillips. But you know Todd. Okay, so maybe the Phillipses have never even heard of Drew. But maybe Georgie said something to them that we can use to connect Drew to her murder. Fine, I know that. So here's the place. Hold on here. Come on. I mean, these people didn't even care enough about their own daughter to claim the body. It, nor they may slam the door in your face. Well, if they do, it might fall off its hinges. <sighs> Look, they, they, they probably won't even answer the door. You know what I mean? Look at this place. I mean, the newspapers haven't been collected. The, the mailbox was jam full. Just your luck. This place is a dump. Right. Nora, please. They could be gone for days, and in that time, Bo will be sentenced to Statesville. We can find things in there, maybe a letter or a photograph or no, something. No, no, obtained illegally, right? Stuff you can't use in a court of law. Now, come on, you want to wind up in the jail cell right next to Bo, you know, for breaking an enemy? You know what? Why don't you just stay out here and look the other way? I'm doing this for my husband. Can I help you folks?
One Life to Live, brought to you. Uh, we were looking for the Phillipses. Uh, I wonder if you could tell me, do you know when they'll be back? Yeah. When the money runs out, probably. They won five grand in the state lottery and took off for Maine in their busted up old camper. If it gets that far, you friends of theirs? Yes. Well, not exactly. Um, what my wife means is that we are friends of friends, and uh, we were, uh, we found out that they were selling the place, and we thought we'd come by and take a look. I wouldn't know. They keep pretty much to themselves. Fact is, they're a little weird. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we don't even know if we're um, at the right Phillipses of it. Do they have a daughter named Georgie? Well, I haven't seen her in a couple of years. You know what? I, th I think we'll just leave them a note then. You'll suit yourself. But I don't know why a nice couple like you would be interested in a place like this. I live right down the road if you have any other questions. Uh, thank you very much. Fred Scalera. Uh, Mark and Jane, uh, Feldner. Feldner, huh? Yeah. I knew a boy in grammar school named Feldner. Well, we probably went to different schools together. <laughs> yeah. uh. <clears throat> well, good luck. Thanks. You wanted to buy this house? You couldn't come up with anything better than that, Mark? Well, I didn't see you coming up with anything better, Jane. Well, I guess we can't go snooping anymore. Well, it's just now as well. Fred is down the street keeping an eye on us. So, I'll write a note, right? I told him I was going to write a note. I'll write a note. Uh, pay up or repossess your satellite dish? Yeah, why not? I saw it up on the roof. It's brand new. And he said they spent all their lottery money on the, uh, you know, their vacations. A regular Sherlock Holmes. Elementary. <laughs> my office. What? I didn't send it. Oh, my word. It's postmarked the same day that Georgie was murdered. Grandpa feels that Todd is a very likely suspect in this murder. On general principle, or does Asa really know something? I would say it's a lot more than a hunch and less than concrete evidence, but I'm going to look into it. Even though Bill confessed? Well, that's just to protect Drew. So why don't you go after Drew? Didn't that Officer Hicks tell you to follow the bat? Yeah, when I follow the bat, you know what happens? It leads directly to Todd. Think about it. He's the one who's behind the tip-off to the cops. He probably planted the bat in Bo's car himself. So what do we do? All right, we quote a couple anonymous sources. We sprinkle it with a little innuendo. What we do is we play by Todd's rules, and in the process, we nail him to the wall, just like he nailed Bo to the wall in the sun. Kevin, he's your mother's brother. Yeah, so what's more important? Some nebulous family loyalty that my mother feels towards the son of a gun? Or the truth? The news is about the truth. At least it is in the banner, so... You with me? If we get facts to back up a story on Todd... Yes. Good. Let's go get facts. You have a plan? Do I always have a plan? <laughs> I mean, what happened when you were fired from the sun and then you went over to the banner, right? Remember? Drove Todd crazy because Todd's ego is all wrapped up in that paper. I mean, he still wants you to admit that you made a mistake by going to the banner, so <laughs> what do you do? You let him strut his stuff, and then boom, you trip him up. You are sending me into the lion's den. No, I'm giving you the easy job. You deal with the lion, I gotta deal with the cobra. Who's the cobra? Taya. <laughs> what does Todd have to do with Georgie Phillips? I asked him that myself when I found him here the other night. Obviously deeply affected by Georgie's death. Todd? Yeah. Did he know her? Not really. I, of course, he'd been writing about her murder. That's true. Maybe he identified with her. An outsider who had a rough childhood and who was probably to blame for her own victimization in a way. Another lost soul driven to desperation. God knows Todd never ceases to amaze me. Called me a hypocrite because I didn't have a big public service for Georgie and the baby. Who would have come? Besides, you arranged for her to be buried here. She has a, a handsome memorial stone, flowers on her grave. Well, that wasn't my doing. She has an anonymous benefactor. Yeah, I assumed that it was Vicky. 
But after my little run-in with Todd, I got to thinking, and it wasn't that difficult to track down. After the fact, he ordered the headstone, and he put in a standing order for these flowers. Lilacs. He said that we were all God's children. Sarcastically, but I believe he meant it. Why are you telling me all this? Uh, Tan, I can't presume to know what's in his heart. But he's right about one thing, my hypocrisy. Because I believe that my heart was worthier than his. In fact, I wanted to believe that he didn't have a heart, that I was delivering you from evil. Andrew. Let me finish, please. Confession's good for the soul. I wanted you to know what he'd done about the headstone, the flowers. I found him here kneeling in prayer in his own way, but it doesn't matter because it says something about him, something that you saw all along and I tried really hard not to see. You are such a good man. <sighs> not really. Todd was more right about me than I was about him. But I'm glad that he might actually deserve you. Andrew, Todd, and I are calling it quits. So, uh, you just stick your nose in other people's business just so you can forget about how miserable your life is? Is that how it goes? You tell me. Yeah, that, that's pretty much how it goes. Max just stopped by to take me to dinner, so let's go, Max. Okay. Oh, well, don't bother going to the, the palace, you know, because your credit's no good there. Of course, Blair could pay. My credit, of course, is fine, but, but you know that, don't you, Blair? I even pay somebody to make sure all my bills are paid on time. Well, then maybe we should just go to the gas and sip, huh? Come on, Max, let's go. <clears throat> Am I interrupting? Need a light? I don't smoke. Well, go not smoke somewhere else. Oh, if you can tell me where I can find Blair. She's out with the last of the big time spenders. It's probably all you can eat wings night down at Brody's. Oh, that sounds like a Todd Manning kind of meal. Eat with your fingers, wipe the grease off on a copy of the sun. Yeah, it's good for that. Take it as a dig. Oh, quick as ever. You know, I've been wiping the floor with the banner since Georgie got herself killed. When you're right, you're right. You have been one step ahead of all of us. Everyone, since this case started. How did you manage that? Well, you know how it is when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, you seem to know that the, that murder weapon was going to be found in Bo's car almost before the police did. That's the name of the game. Well, you probably did know it was going to be there because you planted it there yourself. You sure it's over? I mean, after all, you're still wearing the ring he gave you that night. Oh, yeah, I... I, I must have forgotten about this. I wonder if I should give this back to Todd. Or Vicky. Maybe you should wait. 
You don't think I know my own mind? Or am I like the, the little boy who kept crying wolf after a while, no one listens? I'll always listen. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, you don't want to hear about it. <laughs> hear about what? That you're in love with a jerk? <laughs> you don't mince words. <laughs> You know, I almost wish you hadn't told me what he'd done for this girl. I convinced myself that there was not a tortured, sensitive soul under all that hatred and cruelty. And now? Well, this doesn't prove anything. I mean, maybe he had an ulterior motive. Lilacs. What do lilacs mean to him? Who is this man? Listen. I didn't ask you here because I want to make your life more complicated. But this time, I think I finally did the right thing. We're opening this. Excuse me, that's a federal offense. It's my own mail. Well, it was mailed from my office, yeah. but... There is something so fishy about this. I don't care. This could be the break that we needed. Uh. It's from Georgie. Dear Mom and Dad, if you're reading this, you must know I'm dead. I asked a friend to mail this if anything ever happened to me. Maybe you don't care, but there could be money in it for you, so keep reading. My boyfriend probably killed me. He comes from rich people. I met him a couple of years ago in Landview, Pennsylvania. He'd had a rough life and his family was being rotten to him, so we had a lot in common. He wanted to get back at them, especially his, especially his dad and his stepmother, who was a lawyer. He asked me to help him, and I did because I loved him, and later because I was scared of him. He threatened to kill me if I messed things up. He's a pretty violent temper. Mm, go on. I thought we just wanted to get some money out of his old man, and he, we'd split town and live the good life, but then I realized he was going to dump me, and he just wanted to use me to destroy his folks. <sighs> so I decided to skip town and live the good life. Skip town and leave Drew holding the bag. If he finds out, he'll try to stop me permanently. I don't have much to live for, but I don't want him to get away with it. Please show this to Nora and Bob Buchanan. They're in Landview. They'll know what to do with it. I couldn't send it to them because I was afraid Drew would get hold of it. I hope they're OK. Tell them that I said that, please. I don't want them to hate me. I know what I did was wrong. If you're reading this, I paid for it with my life. Drew Buchanan should pay, too. If there's any justice, he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Like Georgie. He did it. I knew he did it. He did it. No, 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 no. Not so fast, there, baby. P.S. Drew forced me to make the enclosed videotape for his blackmail claim. It's the proof that Nora and Bo will need. The proof what I said is true. went to that night. This is the only gas and sip on Route 127 in Waukesha. What do you think? Five miles from Ace's Lodge? <sighs> Howdy! Hello? Want gas? Yeah, sure. How about uh, 10 bucks on pump number two? Do you get much uh, business around here these days? Some. Um, I want to ask you something. Do you recognize this guy right here? Maybe a couple of months ago, he Fill up a tank of gas? This guy? Nope. It's, um, really important. He's my ex-husband. Owes you alimony or something? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. This guy. Oh, yeah. Hey, you recognize the bozo? Oh, yeah, Mr. Fancy Pants. Wanted to use the washroom. Tracked mud all over the place. Took me half an hour to mop up. 
idiot. Must have been slopping around in the woods that night. I could sue you for saying that. How? It's not libel because I didn't print it. It's not slander because there's no one here but you and me. Okay. So what's your point? Well, I'm just curious. Did you plant that bat in Bo's car? Why don't you ask your cousin Blair? She was there when I found it. Whose idea was it to look in the car? Hers. Oh, is that what Blair's gonna say? I doubt it. Well, then it's just her word against mine. Oh, come on, Ty. When did you get this bright idea to use Blair to cover your tracks? Before or after you murdered Georgie Phillips? Oh, get it. Oh, knock it off. I am just working on a hypothesis. No, I don't need to stand here and listen to your garbage. Get the hell out of my office. Oh, Todd, you're gonna have to face these questions eventually, especially if we bring them up in the banner. Like, why didn't you look anywhere else for that bat? Bo's house, his locker at the country club? Get out. I'm going. But according to my source... <laughs> I'll kill Blair. I will. Oh, come on. Her. She is not my source. Fine, then, Kevin. You <laughs> tell Kevin to lay off or he'll regret it. Tell him myself. In person. I almost decided to ignore your message, but frankly, I'm curious. Well, you know what they say, curiosity killed the cat, and I'm willing to bet it killed Georgie Phillips. Ah, so that's what this is about. Well, you are on Bo's defense team. It's not much of a defense team anymore since Bo confessed. Let me ask you a question. What if um, new information came to light and implicated somebody else? What would happen then? The judge could decide to throw out Bo's confession throughout the whole case, good, depending good. on the evidence. That would be my plan. Your plan. It's good to see that your ego is as big as ever. Oh, you used to like that, as far as I remember. I grew out of it. Yeah, I could see that. That's why you're with Manning. By the way, I heard that your uh, recent reconciliation didn't really stick. That's none of your business. Actually, I think it is my business, because I'm about to offer you an opportunity to get back at your husband. You got a lot of nerve, Kevin Buchanan. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. So, you want to help me nail Todd's miserable hide to the wall, or what? I'd rather nail your miserable hide to the wall. Why? Because you're cocky, arrogant, and superficial. And because next to you, Todd treated me like a, like a prince. Are you still mad at me? <laughs> you really do believe the world revolves around you. Let me see if I can remember. You used me to prop up your pathetic machismo when Cassie couldn't decide between you and her husband. You know, I think And now you want to use me to get back at Todd? For your information, Todd is capable of more genuine emotion and feeling than you could muster if someone held a gun to your head. Well, I think that's a Not only understand. did he not kill Georgie Phillips, he may be the only person in this town who tried to understand her. Did you know that he paid for her burial? Did you know that he places fresh flowers on her grave almost every single day? What does that tell you about him, huh? Hi, Drew. Hi. This can't be easy for you. What do you mean? Well, charges against your father, the fact that he might go to prison. He's not going anywhere. I'm sure there'll be an appeal, but Bo did confess. No, he's innocent. Listen, no matter what happens, you've earned the respect of a lot of people in this town, including me, and that's as a friend and as a pastor. Do you understand? Yeah. And there's Kelly, who's been through a lot the past year, and it didn't defeat her. It made her stronger. It taught her how to forgive. Yeah, I know. Okay. As a matter of fact, Kelly's on her way over here. We meet once a week. Why don't you join us? Uh, no, I can't. Well, thank you, but I, I can't. This is a nice surprise. We're, We're setting up for a private yeah, party. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you are, but you know, I, I, all I really need is use your videotape machine for a few minutes, just I, just for this. I'll tell you what. See, see, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a casting director, and the fact is, is, is I just need to use your machine for a couple of minutes. I'd use the one at the hotel, but I can't because we checked out. Please, cool. this could be this kid's big break. Great. Uh, uh, 
I did some acting myself before this place came along. Come on. All right, good. Thanks. Yeah. Casting directors? Is this somebody's audition? Kinda. Yeah. Guys, cast porno flicks. Isn't that you? Uh, I am. Um... Yeah, it's. Uh, she was uh, reading with the actor. Uh, I don't see any reading going on there. Nobody had to read with her. Oh my God! Shut it off. That's how she did it. That's how she did it. Uh, Drew was running the camera while she was in our bed. Oh, no. He didn't do it. I believed him. I did. I believed him. I know. Him. It's, it's, it's good to have proof in black and white. Hey, um, I hope the right person gets the part. Good luck. Thank you. <sighs> what are you going to do with that tape? I'm giving it to Hank. You know what'll happen. Yes, I know what'll happen. I don't care. I don't want Bo going to Statesville for a crime that his son committed. I understand. It's just I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This is too easy. You understand the package in the mail and then a letter along with it explaining everything? I don't care. If it clears Bo, I don't care. What if it's a setup? By whom? I don't know. But in my experience, evidence doesn't just fall into your lap like this. Sam, if a man is drowning, you don't question who made the life preserver. Nora, you are not thinking clearly. If this is a setup, and you turn this tape in, you could lose your marriage to Bo. Open up. Anything you need? Oh, other than the obvious, yeah. Sorry. That's all right. You got a minute? Oh, yeah. I'm just sitting around here waiting to be uh, sentenced for murder, so uh, sure. Look, I know this is uh, highly irregular, but I'd... I'd like your opinion on something. Jorge Gonzalez and Rita Brown are in line for promotions. Well, Rita will make one heck of a detective, so she uh, should take the test. And Jorge, really missing out there on the beat. He's valuable, but I think he deserves a promotion and a commendation, so. Good. Good. Well, you certainly know your people. Hmm. Well, they're your people now. So take good care of them. Yeah, I will. I will. You know, it's funny. Um, none of them seem to think that you're capable of murdering a young girl. Well, you know, sometimes things just, uh, I don't know, they get out of control. Commissioner. Yeah. Yeah. The DA needs to see you immediately. Thanks. No problem. What's up? Seems like something big. What time was it? Had to be after midnight. It was the end of my shift. He just barged in here and said he was running out of gas. I went out to fill up his fancy Italian sports car, but it only needed a few gallons. I figured he was just uh, interested in using the John. That kind of guy never thinks about using the woods, especially for something like that. No, they're only interested in messing up my nice, clean floor. Yeah, what does he care, huh? <clears throat> uh, listen, you've been a, a lot of help, Mr. Otis. Oh. Want me to check your oil? Uh, yeah, sure.
That's it. We nailed it. Oh, come on. It's not like we saw Todd with the bloody bat in his hand. Oh, it's just as good. He had to come in and wash the mud off. Todd is the killer. Thank you for the scoop. Now, wait a minute. That was a philanthropic gesture. Oh, come on. Todd Manning philanthropic? Oh, what's the point? You've made up your mind about him anyway. Oh, come You've got to admit that it's a little out of character for Todd to pay for Georgie to be laid to rest, even if he was intimate with her. Was he? You. Hey, Tintin. Don't be sending Lois Lane sniffing around my door again. You got that? Hey, look, if you're talking about Cassie... You, you know who really I'm talking has about. A mind of her she own. doesn't have a mind of her own. Look, you want to play games with me, you'll be ready to play rough. Okay, good. Is it BYOB? Should I bring my own bat? Oh, I'd love that. Get a picture of it, put it on my front page. You and your Uncle Bo. The murdering Buchanans. And you, you're one of them. No, I... They finally got you, huh? They bought you. No, Kevin left me a message that I didn't know... I'm not know... surprised. I expected this from you, because it's always been about the money, hasn't it? Will you listen to me, no, Todd? No, I'm through listening. I heard what he asked you about Georgie Phillips. Well, you didn't hear my answer. Go ahead, tell him all your lies. Earn your Buchanan dollars. You mean nothing to me. Listen, I'm expecting a call from the bishop, and I want to get a pot of coffee going. Would you try to convince Drew to join us? I have to go, too. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Actually, I'm going to make some things right, finally. You've made a lot of things right. You've changed a lot of people's minds about you, uh, including mine. Kelly... You know, when my life was all messed up, I wanted to blame everybody else. I tried to blame you. But nobody put me behind the wheel of a car, you know, when I was in no shape to drive. No one made me lie about the accident, you know. I, I took responsibility for that. Yeah. And then I needed to accept that some people didn't want to forgive me, and I didn't want to forgive myself. Well, you, you've done great. So have you. <laughs> you have turned things around for yourself, no matter what happens to your dad, you've made him proud. I am proud of you for, for coming back here and facing everybody, for being a cop, for saving that baby's life, for a whole lot of things. to many, many more. If you try to scapegoat Todd for Georgie's murder, you will live to regret it, I assure you. you open your eyes? My eyes are open. They're wide open. I see a whole lot of things very clearly. Like the fact that you and most of the people in this town simply hate Todd's guts. Well, why do you think that is? Because you don't know him. You've never been an outsider the way he has, the way I have, the way Georgie has. No wonder you don't understand his motives. Everything has been so easy for you. 
Why would you struggle to understand poor, misguided Todd? Just do the whole town a favor, pin the murder on him, and let him go to jail for the rest of his life, set Bo free, everybody's happy except for Todd. But who really needs that poor creep, right? Right? Hi. Oh, Cassie, I'm sure you're very eager to tell Kevin about the reaction you managed to get out of Todd, but just do it someplace else because I do not want to hear it, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Tia. No, don't. Don't say you're sorry. Because you're not. Charges have been dropped. You're free to go. Why? There's another suspect. It's not enough, Hank. You'd have to have hard evidence. We do. They're about to make an arrest. Where did this evidence come from? I didn't mean to do that. I think I wanted that to happen. You gotta forget about me. I can't. I, yeah. I can't forget about you. I, there's something going on between us, and, and I think you know it. Drew Buchanan! You're under arrest for the murder of Georgie Phillips. Cuff him. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney and to have the attorney present. Stay tuned for scenes from the next...